please watch the road. I'm ah! Hello everyone, I'm Crystal Diella and I have the amazing privilege and opportunity to move to Nashville, Tennessee. Over the past two years, I've been living in Savannah, Georgia, and Savannah will forever have a special place in my heart. But in two weeks, I'll be moving to Nashville, and as you can tell with the mess behind me, I'm packing and getting ready to move right now. So come along with me as I prepare for this move and for this new journey that I truly believe that the Lord is sending me on, and I'm so excited to start. Some progress has been made, but honestly, not a lot. I still have so much to pack. This box right here is a box that I've started to like collect things that I'm gonna donate. So the other day I went through and um, cleared out like beauty products and I'm gonna give them to my boyfriend's little sisters. Well, they're not little, but like younger. Um, some old jewelry, dry shampoo, just stuff like this. So I'm gonna give this to them. And then what is this is a birthday gift that I'm not throwing away. I'm definitely keeping this, but I just didn't unpack it because I'm going to keep all those things. Cheers. <laughs> if there's one tip I will give when you're moving across the state or really anywhere, is to pack a little bit day by day because um, it just makes it a lot easier and it makes it feel less overwhelming. I've done a little bit of packing thus far, but today is the only day that I have like completely off up until 5 8, 5 p.m. because then I'm going to like go on away party. But anyway, for the most part, I have all of today off and I'm bulking a lot of it into one day, which is kind of overwhelming, but at the same time, I'm kind of excited to like get it done. I will say that I do feel good though that I took this morning to go really slow and like I went and got Starbucks. I'm drinking one of my favorite drinks, you know? So, it does feel nice and it doesn't feel so chaotic because I've added little pieces that I actually enjoy into my day. Plus I get a little bit of satisfaction of just getting things done and knocking things off of my to-do list. So that's always good too. Does anybody else keep a memory box? For my birthday this year, my boyfriend had all of my friends write me a really sweet letter. So like I've got all of these things that I'm gonna add to my memory box. And so when I opened it, I just realized how many journals I have that are just like not even complete. Like literally a few pages in, it's like empty. But I don't want to throw them out because, I don't know, they have like memories and stuff in there. And then I have some other journals that I currently use that are in a box over there that I don't want to throw out yet because I do actually want to fill them up but like I love journals but I feel like I never actually finish them um yeah and so I, I don't want to get stuck in this uh memory box because I easily could and like go through wow yearbook this is my middle school yearbook let's see if I can find myself can you spot her oh lord <laughs> That's so funny. Okay, I said I didn't want to get stuck going through my memory box, but here we are. Okay, I need to move on to the next thing. All right, and here's the part that I'm low-key dreading. Oh, my closet. I've got all of my clothes here that I've got to figure out what I'm going to do with. Um, the room I'm moving into is a lot smaller, and the closet is a lot smaller, so I don't know how much space I'll have, but yes. I did it. I completed my task for today and so far I've got about four bags that I'm going to be giving away to some friends. And then if you come into my closet, I've got another little, this will probably be one small bag's worth of um, stuff that I'll take to Goodwill. And then I finally cleared out the closet. This is all that I am going to keep. I'm going to leave them out now because I still got a few days left and I want to make sure I have clothes to wear. Uh, but this, I've organized it into like... I don't know, like, I've organized this into, like, pants, dresses, like, work items, like, lounging, hanging out. This is definitely, like, at home lounging and then, like, pajamas and workout clothes. So, it'll be really easy to, like, just put a bag around them and take them to the next spot.
Okay, this is the outfit that I decided to go with, just a simple white top with a black skirt and some loafers. I'm bringing a pair of fuzzy socks because I know I'm gonna change into them basically like right as soon as I get to their house. So there's that. Um, I really like the first, um, not episode. My favorite outfit was actually the first one that I tried on, the tan shorts um, with the black buttons. I like that one the best. However, they were just a little tight and I'm about to be eaten. And so, you know, I didn't want to like pop out of them. So yeah, I decided to go with the skirt because it fits a little bit better. And I didn't go with the black skirt because I just wanted to do the, you know, tan vibe, I guess. So yeah, this is the outfit. I'm gonna go to this graduation party and then probably be done with packing for the day and then pick up again tomorrow. <laughs> The time has come. There's literally nothing else in my apartment left except for the clothes I'm gonna wear tomorrow, this uh, blow up bed that I'm going to sleep on because my actual bed, I sold it, and uh, my new one gets delivered to Nashville. Uh, and then a few other little like knickknack type of things I'm just gonna pack up in the car tomorrow morning at 5 a.m. <sighs> so early call time. Honestly, I'm just ready and excited to finally get moving. Um, I'm just ready to get settled, like I hate the process of moving like I don't necessarily hate moving kind of but I hate the process of moving like right now I'm so sweaty I'm so gross the last like hour we were packing the truck and like putting the car my car onto the trailer that's gonna go behind the u-haul and literally there were so many bugs outside that were just biting me all over like if you've ever been to Savannah Georgia you know that the gnats are bad the mosquitoes are bad all the bugs are bad so I was just getting bit up because it was too dark and I had the flashlight on so that he could see um, while putting, I don't really know how it works, but like putting the trailer onto the truck. So as he was doing that, I was helping with the flashlight and all the bugs just, you know, feasted. It was Thanksgiving for them, so whatever. But yeah, so um, I'm just gonna shower one last time in my shower, blow up this blow up bed and go to sleep. See you bright and early at 5 a.m. Yay. <laughs> Good morning, it is 5.17 in the morning and um, just got packed, fully packed in the truck and car. There's lots of stuff behind me, but you can't really see because it's so early in the morning and so dark. So we're gonna stop at, wow, well, we're gonna stop at the gas station to fill up both this SUV, but then also the U-Haul truck and then get going. So uh, I can't really think yet, so I'm just praying that I stay awake and that uh, Sammy stays awake and that um, the trailer that my car is hooked up to works properly because neither of us have done that before but we did a lot of research and so hopefully it all works out so praying for a safe trip see you in a bit the sun's awake but honestly I'm still not awake so finally gonna crack this open got another celsius my favorite flavor, Arctic, whatever it's called. It's kind of hard to do with one hand. Got it. It is 6.40. So, let's cheers to the sun coming out. Ding.
we've literally been in standstill traffic in Atlanta for I don't even know how long but this GPS says we have 18 more minutes I think before it was started at like 25 it definitely has been longer than that since we've been in this traffic um, so this is fun yay um, probably one of the reasons why I'd probably never move to Atlanta sorry not sorry Oh God. <laughs> Slow, don't die. Oh my God. Oh my God. Good job. Keep going. <gasps> wow. Wow. Gonna love you forever, forever and ever, amen. Do you know the rest of the words? Hell no, 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 no. Oh, look, look to the side. Oh, <gasps> I'm trying to go. <laughs> Dang, that's beautiful, Sammy, baby. please watch the road. I'm. Ah! Yes! Ah! I was trying to show you the Nashville I'm or gonna skyline. I love you forever. I can't with you. Forever and ever. Amen. I'm gonna love you okay, we're done. Forever. Sorry if it's loud in here. We're at this Mexican restaurant and we just got done eating. And I'm here with my boyfriend, Sammy. Okay, he's the one responsible for us getting up at 5 a.m. or leaving around 5 a.m. But like, why'd you pick 5 a.m.? Because it's an eight hour drive and we actually ended up having a 10 hour drive because of all the traffic and stops we made. So yeah, it's the most efficient thing to do. And look, it's seven o'clock, we finished. Is it seven? Probably like eight now. Yeah, eight yeah. o'clock now. Wow. Yeah, it's perfect timing. If not, we would have been still moving stuff around yeah. this time. But I will say that we did get stuff done super quick. We got to my place around 4 o'clock, got done moving everything in at 4.30. Thanks to all of our friends in yes. Nashville. Well, that looked... Oh, wait, yeah, we're in Nashville right now. Yeah, we are. I thought you said in Savannah. What should we do now? Well, we should go home and yeah. unpack. We, oh, Sleep. I should probably explain this too. We do not live together. We're dating. However, we don't live together. I have a room. I have three roommates so total four people live in my place and then he has two um and yeah we're dating we moved here together but separate you know so yeah so i'm finally home hopefully you can hear me okay my roommates are having a birthday party for one of the girls and so um yeah that's probably what you hear in the background but i am going to get showered and get to bed as you can see all of my lovely boxes are behind me but i'm just gonna set up my wool bed for tonight because i do not have time to set up my actual bed um the room did end up being a little bit smaller than what i anticipated i knew that it would be small but i just didn't realize like how small it would actually feel but also maybe once i actually get things set up and like put away it won't feel as small and maybe it'll feel like more spacious but as for tonight i'm wiped I'm done. I can't do much else. So I'm going to shower, sleep, and hopefully sleep in tomorrow also. So see you in the morning. Good morning. I just had my first official night in Nashville. And this morning I am super tired and I feel like for whatever reason my voice is going out even though I wasn't yelling or anything yesterday. I think I'm just really tired. I'm sore all over. Overall, I'm feeling really happy that I'm even here right now. Got a lot of work ahead of me, um, clearing out this room and setting it up the way I want it um, and organizing everything. But overall, I'm just really happy to be here and happy for this opportunity. I start work next week. Um, today's Sunday. I have this upcoming week off, so I won't have to like work or anything. So I'll just be getting settled in and then <clears throat> Next Monday, I'll be starting uh, work and I'm really excited about that. I wanna show you um, the room in daylight one time before uh, I end this video. So obviously this is where I slept last night. <laughs> um, this is the full room. So yeah, it's pretty tiny, but I think 
the idea I have on how I'm gonna set it up will work really well. Um, these are all my clothes. The closet actually goes pretty deep, which is good. I don't know if I'll put like actual clothes way back there because I won't be able to reach them, but like storage type of things. And there's like some shelving up there with lots of um, room at the bottom too. So I'll definitely use that space. It is a lot smaller than the closet that I had in my last place, but it's doable. I'll be able to use that dresser too, which is nice that they left that for me. Um, and yeah, and then I really like how I actually have sunlight coming in even though at my last place i had a full door that i could actually step out on and like use the patio if i wanted to i never had like a lot of sunlight coming in because it was on the first floor and the apartment complex built like these big trees to go in front of it so that people can't look in so basically it was just like really dark in the unit the entire time but i like that since this one is elevated there are no trees in front of it the sun comes in so that's nice. That's nice. I really like a, su a sunny and bright room. I hate when things are like super dark and like, I don't know, it just doesn't really feel welcoming. So I like that there's sun that comes into the room. It makes for good lighting. I have no makeup on, not saying I look great, but you know, if it was dark, like this, this will look bad. This will look weird. Versus this, it's like, I'm a whole new person. <laughs> One last thing I want to talk about is how I found my place and found my roommates. Um, Long story short, Facebook. Literally, I posted on a ton of Facebook groups. I said, hey, I'm looking for a roommate, blah, blah, blah. I responded to some other people's posts. And then I connected with these girls and we had a FaceTime date. They sent me some photos and videos of the place. They actually showed me on FaceTime also. And so, um, yeah, today or yesterday rather was the first day I actually met them in person. Um, they all seem really nice and sweet, so I can't wait to get to know them more. I didn't want to go to a regular apartment complex because it's a few reasons, but like getting out of my old complex in Savannah was just such a hassle. I was like, I don't really want to do that again. I've never had any bad roommate experiences, so I felt comfortable doing the roommate route. But if you have had bad roommate experiences, I totally get how you would not be comfortable with that but i never had any bad experiences with roommates so i felt comfortable living with people but i also wanted to talk with them beforehand just to make sure it was a good fit and i did and so far so good i mean it's been less than 24 hours but so far so good another priority for me was to make sure that cost of living was fairly low um nashville is more expensive than savannah where i was living before and um i wanted to like at least keep things the same but thankfully i was able to find a situation where my cost of living is a lot cheaper than it was in savannah but that's because i have roommates so, so a lot of people asked if i was nervous about this situation i was like no actually i'm really excited if anything i'm more nervous about my job for different reasons but i'm really excited about living here and getting settled and getting started so yeah i think i'm gonna end this vlog here but i will be vlogging my first week here so like transforming my room and just like what i'm doing throughout the first week here so be sure to check back for the next video and i'll see you there bye guys